What's up, YouTube? We're back in the video. In this video, we're going over how to make coins with new legends coming out tomorrow. We have Chris Johnson, Chad Johnson, and we got Mr. Von Miller. They're going to be 86 and 87 overall cards. There's another halfback, which is kind of terrible, to be honest, right now. We have a halfback receiver and another, um, we have a left end. I'm, some bad positions, honestly. I don't really like them having another um and in another halfback get through the whole point of some of these cards like McCaffrey what's the point what what's really the point now you just keep McCaffrey and he has a seven overall with a seven speed and he, but but how does it then you give it Chris Johnson with 86 speed not 86 speed he's a six overall with a seven speed which breaks the whole point of this overall system don't understand what they're doing with that. Like, if you're gonna save save Chris Johnson for when he's like an 88 or 89 overall player, and so you make really really fast, make him make him fast running back in the game, fast player in the game. But no, we'll still we still have the other dude. Also, there was there was another end. There was an LT Von Miller end. We just got Miles Garrett. It, you just literally got rid of the whole point of the la of your last drop. Miles Garrett and McCaffrey are now just. I guess Miles Garrett is still worth this amount of miles this. Like 160, he's still worth it. But what's the point? Why? Why was and why was two really good ends in a row? And also really two really good halfbacks in a row. And neither of my neither of my best halfback halfback in the game. They're still outclassed by a lot between um them and Jukins. But what I want to be going over is. First, this Lamar is still 450k. What we're gonna go over is we're gonna go over the flipping filters and how legends is a different type of match. Legends are different because they're filters. If you just want to sort by, sort by legends, each legend is 80, 81, 82, 83, and 86 overall, I guess now. Unless I don't think they're gonna increase over. I don't think they're making 81, 82, 83, 84, 96. I don't think they're gonna do that. But these legends cards, when you sort by when you sort by quality, quality you see eight to eighty one, because they have an eighty and an eighty one overall card, you'll see both of them the same filter. But when the market happens, the markets can get flooded by cards, and the only way to be able to filter it down is to go to the catalog, click X on the card, search in the auction house. This will be the only way to filter these cards down. You can see only the eighty overall. By searching 80 overall, you search only 81, by searching 81 overall. It's the only way you're able to do it. Because you can't search by team and all that stuff. Because they're on the same team and same everything. So refresh, you click on the card, back out. You click on the card again, back out. You can just keep doing that until you get snipes. Or if you don't want to do, stop, or if you want to stop doing it, whatever. Switch to something else if you want to do. L last time for Legends, A2, A3s are really good for Legends. For flipping those cards, they were really good last time. But I mean, everything was really good. But A two to A three were especially good. They were like it was like free profit last time around. But what what we can see happening? We go to the eighty five legends right here. People will probably be doing sets again because people are going to want Chris Johnson and Chad Johnson because of another receiver. Pretty good receiver, AVS speed, wide receiver is pretty good. So I would expect some of you guys to maybe go down in price. Like Pat White might go down a little bit more. Marshall Falk should go down to like 120, honestly. I assume 120, 130. Like he's not gonna be that. He's not one. He's not worth the 180. Just he's not. He just isn't anymore. And for defense wise, Brian Rucker might go down a little bit more. Booger might go down a little bit more. Ray Lewis might go down. Ray Lewis will probably go down a little bit. But we'll also another cards that can go down. Kendrick might Kendrick's won't go down. He probably start going up in price, honestly now. Mike Evans could go down a little bit because Chad Johnson's gonna outclass him, but maybe not. Mike Evans is still really good. I don't know what's gonna happen with those cards. But what I feel like there's gonna be a lot there's gonna be might there's gonna be like a tiny micro crush, I feel like, tomorrow. At least on some positions. But we're gonna see like, like, like these 88s right here. 
the train to pack tomorrow will go up a little bit. Like, obviously, because we're going to have better cards in the pack. So, instead of, like, I think it's 275 right now for a pack. Let's go check that. Yes, it's 275. I'm going to expect the pack to be around probably 400 training. I'm hoping it'll be 350, though. Like, three, 300, 350, I'll hope for, but it's probably 400. Pop, pop now. If you guys want a pack over that, make sure you guys get this video up to, like, 15, 20 likes. I'll do it. A little over your own opening on that pack. But... But he's trying to pull the LTs and all that stuff. Let's check the overall LTD marker now. LTs right now are going for... We've all going way, way down now. We have Brooklyn down to 300k. Will Campbell's 350, 380. Hopefully Will Campbell can go back up. We got McCaffrey 390. Mario's at 410. We have... Then we got some, the rest of the one day. We have 730, 770, 800k. Pretty interesting how the market's going right now. But another thing you guys can be doing, A2, A3 Legends are going to be going off again. 25k, then the Legend, legend cards are probably going 45 to 50k for unfiltered. Maybe more, maybe less. Depends how good the packs are. But you filter by Legends again. You're going to have to filter by Catalog um, when pack drops. When the pack drop happens, you have to filter by Catalog and the player. But right now, you don't have to because content has not released. Content, this is the day before. So you do that, you filter back here, you click on the A3 overall, auction house, and it pops up like this. And you only set card and you can like click on the card and and press circle and it'll refresh the whole market again for you. I feel like the best prior will be the A2A3s again. Because people are gonna open a lot of legend packs because people like Chris Johnson a lot. Chris Johnson will be he'll be overpriced when he comes out, he's gonna be extremely overpriced. I'm pretty sure, at least that's what my opinion is. He's going extremely overpriced. But what's weird is they're having, it is Chris Johnson and Chad Johnson. I'm pretty, yeah, Chris Johnson and Chad Johnson. It's weird that they're having two offensive champions for the same week. They're having, they have one defense guy, which is the LTD. Sort of weird that they're having that. Don't really know why. But I guess maybe receiver market isn't enough. There maybe there isn't enough receivers in the game. I think there personally is because you can run McCaffrey a receiver. McCaffrey's a pretty good receiver, I'm pretty sure. I've seen. But you look at 84, 85 receivers. For champions, we have I know we have Mike Evans. So we have Mike Evans for receivers. We have um Hunter Renfro for receivers. We have Ra Ra, wherever Ra Ra is. Is Ra Ra just not on the market? I guess he's not on the market, but we have Ra Ra. 86 overalls. We have um Rainy Moss. Apparently, we don't have enough receivers in the game right now. I don't know. I guess we, we're taking another receiver now. Another legend back, backpack. We get some legend receivers. Chad Johnson will be good. I don't know how much better he will be, be there, be though, than over like a guy like Mike Evans or like or a Hunter. Hunter, he's gonna be taller than Hunter Renfro, but I don't know. Hunter Renfro was pretty good I've seen. But make sure you guys be do, make sure you guys snipe your eighty ones, snipe your eight to eighty ones. Do your A2, A3 filter. You could do 84, 85s, but it's, you get to know the market a lot more, and it's not as probably it's not as good for legends. For legends, if you want, I would just personally stick on A2, A1, A2, A3s for legends. You can get a lot of cards for quick sell price. Like you can go, you can go position by position for non-legend cards. If you want to go legend cards, you just sort by catalog for legends. Like you know, scroll down and just. Look for A3s. You probably actually go on newest, honestly, when you're doing this. Click newest. And you see the A3s and all that stuff for the cheapest possible. And try to get snipes on this. It might take time. These legends are, there's so many legends in the market. But I feel like sort of my catalog will be the best way to make coin. Because people don't really know how to do that yet. Because, I mean, there's a lot of people that have said it, but not many people know about it, I feel like, yet. But make sure you guys like. And subscribe. And I'll see you next time.